Kenya, my new home. My name is Maya Kotala and I would like to welcome you in a Sewing Together journey. Good morning, welcome to Sewing Together Diary. It's 5 something a.m. on a Friday morning. There was a massive storm outside, so I don't know what to expect when I'm gonna open the kitchen door. But I hope you can hear the beautiful birds which give me concert every day. I guess morning activities are the same around the world. Coffee, breakfast. I like to wash my dishes in the morning to make sure that the night before I had enough water for shower. The only thing maybe it's different are the pots. This is Suferia and this is where we cook our meals. Oh yeah, and that's what happens all the time when I forget to switch on electricity. I can be waiting for a coffee for half an hour and it's still not ready. Why? Stupidity. And we only get fresh water on Saturday. I have to basically prepare myself for it. So it's a small process and let me show you what we're gonna do. Here is where we store clean water. It first comes underneath the house and then I need to pump it there and hopefully that will last a week. So I need to make a space, it starts to rain, so I'm gonna hurry up. It's not full. We see what we're gonna do. The pumping section is here. And of course the pump didn't work, so another task on the to-do list which every day starts with uh, from 7.30 until 9 when the school starts. I write everything what needs to be done. I have different ladies on different levels, so I have to prepare all the activities suitable for them. Sewing, pattern making, cutting, plus all the things I need to handle by myself. Going to town, it's a little bit like putting on an armor. I always have to remember that Mombasa is a Muslim city. So regardless of the hot temperature, I try to dress modest in a short sleeve and a long trousers. Most of women wear long dresses, which are called bulbu here. We are going to town with Matatu, which is the cheapest way to get there. In the price, we have not only the transportation, but a very loud music. So today I'm visiting a house of Kikoli. It's amazing to know that you can make a brand basically out of just one fabric. Kikoi, as you know, it's a natural fabric, 100% cotton, and you can make so many things out of it. And I'm so, so lucky to be able to see the amazing work of House of Kikoi. But our mission for today was not only to make new friends, but we came to town to this place recommended by Julie to find a new sewing machine. Kennedy, so how long are you working with a machine? Yes. How long? 30 years. 30 years. And you are also a technician? Yes. Why did you choose this job? This, this job. Because my father told me that the best job you can do in the world is this one. You can get this job. Yes. For Uganda, the job you can do. And this way I found the perfect juki, which in some sort of miracle way fitted in a tuk-tuk. The road home wasn't easy, but we finally got what we really, really wanted. On that note, after an extremely long day in the city, a town, like you would prefer to call it, I think I was there from 9.30 and now it's 6. So you can imagine I'm drained out of energy we're gonna cook supper it's a more traditional Kenyan thing super healthy super delicious it's a cabbage which is already pre-cut for you onion tomato beef cubes avocado and this a little similar to bigos but not really 
for most normal people, 8.30 p.m. is the end of the day, but not for sewing together. I guess I'm just too excited to test our new sewing machine, so I've decided to make a pair of shorts. Why not? Hello Sunday, a holiday. Um, I haven't slept, I'm so tired, so I've decided to reward myself with a little lunch. I wanted to go to the beach, but the foot injury doesn't allow me to walk much, so I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places here, which is not too far, and at the same time I'll do shopping because my fridge is empty. And yes, we have what you would call a normal shop, like a full day. It's uh, Monday, 6 o'clock, like always. Coffee, shower, but maybe today before shower I have to do some chores, which is sweeping the courtyard. My God, it's like living in a countryside. You have something to do 24 seven. Boy, and who needs the gym in the morning when you still have all that to handle and it doesn't stop here because we have an outdoor area you have to take care of too but i will spare you see you later and then the school started i wish we could work in such a speed unfortunately the rain returned but since the pump wasn't still working we came up with this Today idea we are doing an Tiny project, we didn't have water to use, but uh, thank God it started raining, so we are recycling. So we had to cut this one to make a funnel where we did fetching the water with this one and then transferring it inside the area using this funnel. Maybe the girls went home, but it wasn't the end of the day for me giving my signature touches to our new garment. New day, new challenges, but this time we had help from our great friend and super talented Judy Gitonga. Uh, hi guys, hope you are doing good and keeping safe. Uh, there's uh, COVID time. Here in Kenya we are keeping safe. I hope uh, one day when you visit, you can come visit uh, in Kenya teachers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with the civilization. We're gonna install Wi-Fi. So that line goes from there to there and to my home. And those are the moments when you're just so so happy. Because yes, Kenya is a very tough country, but there's this certain magic I'm constantly saying about it. Like today is the Father's Day and of course my father passed away, but everything in the day is just turning it into a positive, um, a posi changing into positive things. Yeah, I can't even talk properly, but... I've never experienced such emotions ever, anywhere in the world like it is over here and even from a bad thing a good thing can happen and it's just the people who are making it and I know I don't really make sense but yeah of course I wasn't that happy about the Wi-Fi. It was the people who helped sewing together to grow and solve so many problems at home. We are in Congoya, a heaven for second-hand clothing. It makes you stop and reflect how much we, as a Western culture, consume and not throw away, and it finds a second life here in Kenya. For us, it's a lucky day. We've managed to find amazing bed sheets, which soon gonna change into amazing garments in our new collection. Mm, no power, but we're staying creative. Maureen is doing patterns. 
for the hundredth time. Mm. Girls are working soon. Lunch break. Life at times together. Nothing changed. Lack of power really slowed us down, but we didn't want to give up on the day yet, so we've decided to do a little bit of tie and dye. It always makes the garment a little bit more original and personal. The process might be long, but the results you can see straight away. And it's already Friday! But I'm so so happy because our little store is now filling up with amazing pieces made by the girls. We started collaboration as well with three new designers, House of Kikoi, Shabalangu Jewelry and BMT Lifestyle. This creates an amazing one-stop destination for all the people to come and see our product. We are very grateful because of tourist company called Polak Vtrebigach. Now our little place is on the map. We hope that we can grow locally because all the proceeds from sales are being donated back to Sewing Together. The week is over for me and time for a break. So I'm taking you to one of my favorite places, which is called Chachoma. You can choose your meat, which is fresh from the farm. It's directly grilled, almost in front of your eyes, and served in the most magical way, in the magical spot. And that's it, end of the week with sewing together. I can't wait to show you the next videos. I'm gonna teach you how to tie up a perfect turban, show you the differences and similarities between the women here in Kenya and back at home. And in the end, I would love to show you the whole design process of making a collection by sewing together. Asante sana and see you soon.